Hey guys, I'm Connor from the Connor Atlanta Show, and as you saw in my last review, was of well, a CD, was a review of the album uh, Meteora, my favorite album of all time by the band Linkin Park. And today we will be reviewing the third Linkin Park album, which came out in the year 2007, nearly four years after Meteor came out. And this album is entitled Minutes to Midnight. So. Linkin Park's Minutes to Midnight. What can I say about this album other than it's my fourth favorite Linkin Park album of all time? Which is saying it's second worst. But, never mind. So, I would probably give this album, if I were to rate this, um, 1 through 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I would probably give this album a 9.8 out of 10. And as I said before, anything less than a 10 out of 10 for a Linkin Park album is considered not that good for me. And same for... Green Day, anything less than a 10 out of 10 for, for Green Day albums is a bad album, and there's basically only one Green Day album that I would say gets less than a 10 out of 10 perfect, and that one would be Warning. Sorry, opinion based, but that one is probably the worst Green Day album of all time, taking from Green Day my number one band of all time. Yeah, you should probably take that from me. In the booklet of this of this CD, well, first off, I gotta show you the front cover. The front cover is, of course, Lincoln Park, Minutes to Midnight, and in this is unlike any other Lincoln Park album in any well Lincoln Park album. Same with Green Day. This is the only Lincoln Park album that that has all six members in it on the front cover of the CD. Uh, and on the back too so that's a little fun note you can take by yourself and if you're wondering what that little area is right here that's my mom's fault as I've been listening to this album ever since I got it for Christmas in 2007 I've been asking myself do I think this is a very very good Linkin Park album or a kind of good Linkin Park album and all I can say is this it's a it's a very good album. There we go. It's a very good. It's I think it's a very good album. And uh, as the booklet says in here, if, which as you know, booklet is a thing that a band has inside their CDs. I don't know why I'm explaining this, but usually sometimes they'll have all the names of the tracks and they'll have their lyrics. And some bands is not the case. And this one it is. But the fun thing that I like about this is that. In the front thing, in the beginning of Minutes to Midnight, in the booklet, they said, they said, and I quote, As this is written, the album is not yet finished. No cover art has been chosen. We are through mixing and mastering the album. It is safe to say, however, this will prove the kind of, a different kind of album for this. I agree. Because this album, some of the songs sound like the new metal style of Linkin Park, like from uh, Hybrid Theory and... Meteora, but some songs like Leave Out All the Rest, Shadow of the Day, Hands Held High, and Val Valentine's Day and the Little Things Give You Away, those songs don't really sound like Hybrid Theory and Meteora songs by Linkin Park. Speaking of which, next up is the track listing for this album. So the tracks on this album are Wake, Given Up, Leave Out All the Rest, Bleed It Out, Shadow of the Day, What I've Done, Hands Held High, no More Sorrow, Valentine's Day, In Between, In Pieces, and The Little Things Give You Away. Top 5 favorite tracks are Given Up, Bleed It Out, Shadow of the Day, No More Sorrow, and In Pieces. Other no notable tracks, and actually the tracks that I actually like out this are Given Up, Leap Out of the Rest, Bleed It Out, Shadow of the Day, What I've Done, No More, Sor no More Sorrow, Valentine's Day, in pieces and the little things give you away. So basically track tracks two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, eleven, and twelve are the ones that I like off this album. The other three are okay. And also we get to see right here, we get to see the C D disc for this album. And the C D disc actually has the Linkin Park logo, which is basically like the L and the P mixed together in the same thing. And it, when you spin it, you can read all of them. 
all the Linkin Park albums all in a row if you can read that fast. So yeah, that concludes my review for Linkin Park, Minutes of Midnight, and my next review will of course be on A Thousand Suns, worst album. What? Three, two, one, I'm done, subscribe.